I'd love to do a superhero. El viejito. I would call it El viejito. Well, congratulations on the movie. It is so much fun watching you and George Lopez on screen. I was like, why? how come we didn't get this duo beforehand? <laughs> It's one of those moments in time. I'm very grateful that uh, we were given the opportunity to do this together. When we barely started uh, and they showed me the script, um, you know, uh, uh, George is a very strong golfer. I don't know if you know that. I think so, yeah. Very, very good. He's, he's, he's a pro. He's a professional golfer. Mm. And uh, his handicap is in the, you know, between four and six at any given day. I mean, he really knows how to play the game well. And uh, he's been playing since in the early 80s, like 81 or 82, he started to play. And he's been playing ever since, and he plays it a lot. So when they told me about this, uh, I thought that I was going to be the, the, the messenger, and he was going to be the golfer. And so did he. <laughs> he thought the same thing, because he is a golfer, so he could you know, really play. Mm -hmm. And then he found out, no, he was the messenger and I was the golfer. And, <laughs> and uh, we both laughed about that a lot. And, uh, but I was very fortunate. I, um, I, I, I played well. I played, I played like a man who hasn't played in 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> now, did George give you some tips? Like, well, oh, yeah. don't hold it like this, hold it like this, and mm -hmm. swing like this? <laughs> well, sure. All the time. You know, he helped me immensely. That's what it's all about, really, you know? So, uh, yeah. Well, and that's part of the movie is that he's kind of your mentor slash angel yeah. messenger. So he's there to kind of help you um, because you're trying, you're, you're, like you mentioned, you go back to golfing for a special um, uh, mission, <laughs> let's yes. say. Very much so. And um, I spoke to Kathleen last week, and she said you oh. approached her personally to be yeah. to play your wife on screen. Why was she the perfect match for you for on screen? Oh gosh, look at her! <laughs> She's such a gorgeous, gorgeous woman, uh, inside and out, and um, and she's a really a wonderful artist, great actress, and so. Um, they asked me to pick someone, and uh, I saw I, I was lucky that I had picked her for another movie that I had just finished doing before this one called The Devil Has a Name. Mm. And uh, she came and she helped me, and it was a very small role. And uh, she came and she, you know, it was wonderful with David Strathern and Alfred Molina and mm. uh, and Marty Sheen, and and it was really a very uh, a beautiful cast, but it was a very intimately small little role but she came and she did it with me and she did it for me so when i got to do the next movie and it was a, a major role she was gonna she's the, the female lead in the movie uh, i asked for her and they agreed and uh, she, it was she was perfect i sense a theme here Della has no name and then walking with herb <laughs> it's a theme it is it is a theme <laughs> Um, and I, when I was watching the movie, I thought, this is so funny how uh, we have movies that combine faith and some kind of sports, right? Like, if they build it, they will come. You know, mm -hmm. what is it about sports that kind of brings this whole kind of spiritual, you know, feel about it? Um, I think it's the, 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 uh, the understanding of one's ability. And, uh, and people understand that. Like tennis, golf, basketball, baseball. Um, you know, different sports, but in almost in anything. I mean, uh, you got to remember, I, I play a, uh, a, a a president of a bank in this, but uh, the theme is around, uh, you know, working and, and, and showing my, my uh, getting my faith back. And uh, really, it's all about faith and believing in oneself. And yes, in God, but in oneself. And this is mm -hmm. what the story was about faith in oneself and second chances, which is wonderful. I think that to me, Lupe, is the reason why I think the movie kind of resonates so strongly because it's, it's about second chances. And uh, we, the elder, I play a 68 year old, um, it's kind of hard to get, to give yourself, have the courage to give yourself a second chance. And um, when you do, it's so rewarding. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so 
that's why I like the movie so much. I think that's why it touches people that have seen it. You saw the film, I hope? Oh yeah, I did, yeah. And I wanted to ask you, um, you've had a long, illustrious career in Hollywood. You know, what is left for you to do? And I love you on my end's MC. Oh God, I've been very fortunate to continue to work. A lot of my friends, uh, close and dear friends, have I have been working. You know, they're just they don't they they go to auditions, but they really are not getting the jobs, and and it's the, the jobs are farther and fewer between. So it's um, I've been very fortunate to continue to keep on working. I'm a privileged artist, and um, I I must say that. Uh, I, I hope that I can do this, you know, until I pass into the next understanding, because uh, like Rita Moreno and uh, there's some great artists that went all the way to the, you know, right now Clint Eastwood is in his 90s and he's still mm -hmm. to make films. So I'd like to do the same. Is there a, a role that you still want to play, like a superhero or? I'd love to do a superhero. El viejito, I would call it El viejito, and and that would be the story, the title of the movie, El viejito. Be careful of El viejito. <laughs> the cane, the cane is not just the cane. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. That cane is very special. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Yes. Keep, keep I'd love to see that. Me too. I think I'll write it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, Leslie, I wanted to say that I love seeing you and George Lopez on screen. But it has nothing to do with being Latinos. It's just a human story, which is, you know, nice to see because a lot of times there's like all this, you know, story around ethnicity. But here you're just playing human. It's a human story. Yeah, yeah. We don't even touch on the, on the uh, cultural thing, hardly anything. Mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, which is kind of funny. I mean, some of those things have cultural dynamic to them, but it's not about that. It's not about the culture. It's about human species. It's human race and. Mm -hmm. it's, the, uh, again, like I said, it's about faith, faith in oneself and the courage to give yourself a second chance, which I think it's timely. It's always timely to see those kind of movies, but in today's times and today's times, plus the fact that we are Latinos, uh, it's quite interesting. I hope that it, it works. I hope that uh, people will go to, you know, walk in with her, uh, the movie.com and, and find out where they can see it in their neighborhood. Because it's going to be all over the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good film right now. It starts out with the tragedy, and there's like a light at the end of the tunnel. So it's a perfect yeah. timing right now for this this movie. Yeah, movie, yeah, I, I totally agree. All right, well, thank you so much, Mr. Omos, and uh, it's a pleasure talking to you. Okay. Thank you so much. Gracias. Hasta luego. Adios. Adios.